Hello, I'm Dean McDonald with Tech Skills. In this video, I will discuss and demonstrate how to use basic ESD prevention measures by showing you some anti static devices and we'll also use some grounding techniques. Let's go ahead and get started. As we get started, I want to talk a little bit about safety. We want to make sure that you're protecting yourself and your components from damage. Before working or opening a computer, you want to make sure that you use common sense and standard preventative measures against electric shock and ESD. You should not work on a computer that is plugged in and turned on, and you should always use some sort of anti-static measure, whether that's an anti-static mat or a wrist strap. We want to make sure that you're preventing these components from getting damaged. Before I get started, I'm wearing a watch and a, and a ring. I want to make sure that I remove any metal jewelry, anything that's dangling. These things can get caught in our components. They can also be ESD contact points. If I'm wearing something metal and I have some ESD built up, anything metal, touching metal, that's an ESD contact point. We want to eliminate that as much as possible. If you have anything that's dangling like a necklace, you want to make sure you remove that so it doesn't get caught in a fan, doesn't get caught on a cable, uh, ruin your device, and also possibly wreck something inside of a computer. First way of grounding myself and devices is using a anti-static mat. This anti-static mat has a grounding cable and it also has a wrist strap. On my bench I have a surge protector that's plugged into a grounded outlet. So to make myself grounded and the mat grounded, plug the grounding cable into one of the ground plugs. Connect the grounding cable to the mat with the snap. And then to ground myself, I'll use this wrist strap and plug that into the grounding mat here. On this wrist strap, it has a little metal contact. So when I put this onto my wrist, that makes contact with my skin. I want to make sure that this is tight enough that when, as I'm moving around, that metal contact point is always in contact with my skin. So now as I'm connected to the wrist strap, and the wrist strap is connected to the mat, the grounding cable and the surge protector, Ultimately, that goes down to a grounded outlet, which is grounded to earth ground. So this is one way to ground yourself before you work on components. If you don't have an anti-static mat, cable, or wrist strap, you can ground yourself a couple of other ways. One way is if you have a computer case that has a power supply that has a switch on it. This is the main power switch. I can plug in a power cord, which has three prongs, two for power and one for ground. If I plug this cable into a grounded outlet and make sure that the power supply is switched to the off position, this will create a ground. So I've got grounded outlet from the power supply through the cable, through the surge protector down to ground. And with this switch in the off position, power is coming up to the power supply, but it's not supplying power inside the computer. So this way I'm assured that I'm grounded if I'm touching the chassis or any part of the metal on the computer, I will be grounded because this grounding cable is connected to ground. Third anti-static measure that I would recommend you only use if you're in a situation where you don't have any other anti-static devices such as a wrist strap or you don't have a computer that has a main power switch on the power supply like this one. So here I don't have any main power switch. I wouldn't plug this computer in because there's no way to disconnect power from the power supply to the inside of the computer. So in this case, before I would work on anything inside the computer, I would touch the power supply and the chassis. What this does is it equalizes the charge between myself and the computer and will lessen any chance that I will have any uh, ESD built up. Although you're not truly grounded, this is one way to kind of equalize and make sure that you're not going to produce uh, any ESD charges. So again, I would recommend you only use this as a last resort. One final anti-static measure that I recommend you use are anti-static bags. When you purchase a component, it generally comes inside an anti-static bag. You should leave the components inside the bag until you need to use them. So if you have components such as this I.O. card, or hard drives, or in this case I have an anti-static uh, bubble bag that has a PCM CIA card. 
So have a couple of these lying around. So as you're removing components from a computer, you can put them inside this bag to prevent damage to them while you're taking components out. Or if you purchase new components and they come inside a anti-static bag, leave them inside the bag until you actually need to put the component inside the computer. Now as you go and work on computers, please be careful. Protect yourself against electric shock. Protect your components against ESD damage. Take some of these techniques and practice them. There's nothing worse than damaging an expensive stick of RAM or motherboard by being careless not using these preventative measures. Good luck and thanks for watching.